Previously on Tentacolino, evil sharks sink a submarine. The submarine survivors are taken to Atlantis, where they are forbidden from ever leaving. Turns out there's some rat conspiracy thing to leave Atlantis and steal some elixir thing. The rats are allies with the sharks. And the sharks are allies with the Baron. And now... B -b 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 if they dismantle me with a screwdriver, I'll die, won't I? Oh, no, oh, calm down. Oh, no one's gonna take you apart. Oh. No one will hurt you. They'll have to have a screwdriver, and down here in Atlantis, there are no screwdrivers. They've all been banned. What? Why? <laughs> there are screwdrivers in the McConnell set. Shut up, Pingo. So, Moving on. Operation Power to the Rats has started, and Ronnie and Top Connors, together with the other two rats, will steal the elixir. How does he come to know all this? He sees and hears everything. Right, he sees and hears everything, but he didn't know about the rat conspiracy till the mice snitched on Pingo, them. Pingo, Biagio, and Smile, you'll have to intercept them. Try and distract them, and replace the flask of elixir with another flask full of water. Go get the elixir! I'll go get it. Stealing the elixir, were we? Go, go rat, rat, go rat. Awesome. Brilliant. Wait, wouldn't swimming underwater with an open bottle be a bad idea? Well, everything went according to plan. And now they decide to follow and fight the bad guys, even though they didn't we'll even steal them. the real elixir. We'll fight them. Okay. <laughs> this was definitely made by Italians. The rats and sharks have joined together, but they're surprised attacked by the people of Atlantis. The sharks stay to fight while the rats swim to safety. Razor Teeth sends a telegram to the Baron, requesting assistance. Mermen, mermaids, rats from Atlantis. Oh. Oh. What are you writing about, Jeffrey? Have you been drinking by any chance? And yet, right, you're cool right, with the no fact that a shark it. sent you a telegram. Give the order to launch the mini submarines. I'm confused. The if the Baron and, and the sharks no are allies, and the sharks and rats have been planning to steal the elixir so. for some time now, then why didn't they just fill the Baron in on their plan until now? Well, I think it's because this movie's murdered for burgers. It's a good thing the dog has thumbs, or else he couldn't possibly shoot his laser gun. That's something I never thought I'd hear. His Majesty gave the order to be careful and not to hit anyone. I know, I know, I remember. But he didn't say anything about burning tails, though, did he? Except that to hit a tail, you have to hit them because their tails are part of their body. He plays it fast and loose with the rules. Right, just utterly disregard all orders. Who needs a chain of command when you can just shoot sharks with laser guns? Sharks with frickin' laser beams! Oh my, a little girl. What is your name, my child? I'm called Brumali, your majesty, but I'm not a little girl. Listen to that voice. I'm the commander of the mountain artillery troops. It's a curse, not a disguise. I'm dolled up like this because I fell into the hands of a little girl who thought she'd put a wig on me when she saw me with this skirt on. I have to banish this curse that's haunting me and regain my identity. How? How can you do it? I can show you immediately. You've just gotten yourself promoted from artilleryman to general. Come on, let's suck it to him! And he's talking to torpedoes. Torpedoes that shoot lasers. Dude, for a kid's movie, they're killing a lot of people. No, you're wrong there. You see, the lasers just hurt them and then give them amnesia. Get in the water! After watching this, I wish I had amnesia. Jeffrey, just because we're on holiday doesn't mean you can dress any way you'd like to. One does have standards, you know. No! 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 These are kind of sadists. Laughing every time someone gets hurt. So, the rats get away and they're like, why? Why chase them if they're gonna just get away? So, then the Atlantis rats meet some surface rats and they want to demonstrate that the elixir makes it so you can breathe underwater by testing it on the surface rats leader. 
The rat's leader is very trusting to let some strangers just throw him down a well. He's kind of an idiot. All that. So, that didn't go too well. Get him! You're making a mistake! I am your emperor! Understand me! We've won! We've won! We're the best! Oh look, best. Pingo's hanging out with a Pingo, screwdriver named Screwy. Isn't he yes, afraid of screwdrivers? And then the King of Atlantis promises the people in Mice that they will be rewarded for their help in uncovering the rat conspiracy. I wonder what the reward will be. Oh look, it's the Titanic. Complete with automatic sliding glass doors. It's been upgraded. His Majesty asked me to come and help you take the Titanic to the Forgotten Island. Now there's a giant ray too? I haven't seen so many sea creatures of super size since Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. Hey. Remember earlier when he had trouble lifting the submarine? Scree doesn't really serve much of a purpose in these scenes, does he? So why introduce us to a character that does nothing towards the end of the movie? Maybe to sell more toys. Merchandising's real important, you know. This place is deserted. There's no one here. No Pingo, no Biagio. No Pingo? Sweet! Haha, <laughs> surprise! You can never escape from Pingo. That's right. There was a girl dog in this movie. I totally forgot about that one scene they had together earlier. Are you kidding? She was like totally important to the story. Because sexual harassment is funny. Especially in children's films. Oh, I'm not mad! I'm afraid we'll have to keep him in here... forever. <laughs> Dude, what's up with the doctor's evil laugh? Do, like, all doctors laugh when they have a patient committed? Shut up! Pingo has an announcement. Let the dancing commence! Finally, some normal-sized dolls. That was a mercifully short song. Another song? That was a five second break between songs. Hey look, it's the end credits. So, no more pointless songs? Well, no more new pointless songs. They play the shark song twice. Well, you know, because we all loved it so much the first time around. They're so sharp and white and neat. They bring on fear and heal some terror. Once they should, I make no error. This movie's over. And that was Tentacolino, also called In Search of the Titanic. Why was it called Tentacolino again? Because the, the octopus is named Tentacles. No, Tentacles was his name in the last movie. In this film, they actually call him Otty. Otty? You think they keep that consistent throughout the series? Dude, with this series, not really. You know, I just had a thought about this movie. That's not good. I was thinking that in the first film, it starts with one of the mice as an older version of himself telling his grandchildren uh, about the story of the Titanic. But if they're stuck at the island at the end of this film, then how does he tell his grandchildren, which he doesn't have yet? Maybe they'll explain it in a sequel. Don't be daft. <laughs>